An append query is an action query that adds records to a table. An append query takes a group of records from one or more tables or queries in the database and adds them to another table. Think of it as a select query where you can save the results in a table. For example, laptop sales history table stores order details, customer details, and product details. Follow these basic steps to create an append query. Create a select query. Start by selecting the data that you want to copy. You can adjust your select query as needed and run it as many times as you want to make sure you are selecting the data that you want to copy. On the Create tab in the Queries group, click on Query Design. Add orders, order details, products, categories, brands, customers, and employees tables. Add the required fields. Add order ID, first name, category, brand, product name, order total. You can use expressions with the table or query fields in the design grid to customize the data that you select. For example, the destination table has a field that stores a four-digit year. The source table has order date, which is a regular date time field. Use the date part function with the source field to select only the year. In the field row, right click an empty column and then click on zoom in the shortcut menu. Enter this expression where year is the field name to get the year from the date. Click on OK. Optionally, you can enter one or more criteria in the criteria row of the design grid. For example, to return orders placed in 2021, enter 2021. In category field, Enter laptop. Destination table does not have a category field. You can see there is no category field. To use the field in the criteria but not append the values, uncheck the show checkbox. Run the query and verify that the query returned the records that you want to copy. If you need to add or remove fields from the query, switch back to design view. Select the fields that you don't want and select cut to remove them from the query. Instead of first name, we want the full name, delete first name. In the field row, right click an empty column and then click on zoom in the shortcut menu. Enter this expression to get first name and last name. Click on OK. Run the query and verify the records that you want to copy. Now convert the select query to an append query. Switch back to the design view. On the query design tab, in the query type group, Click on Append. The Append dialog box appears. In the Append dialog box, select the destination table from the table name drop-down and select Current Database. Click on OK. If the field names in the source and destination tables match, Access automatically adds the matching destination fields to the append to row in the query. For example, order ID, brand, etc. If the names in the source and destination tables don't match, Access leaves unmatched fields blank. 
If access leaves fields blank, you can click on a cell in the append to row and select a destination field. The field names of the source and target tables do not need to match. For example, for the product name field from products, select product. If the field is used only as a criteria, leave the append to row blank. To preview your changes, switch to datasheet view. Return to design view and then click on run to append the records. Access displays the number of records to be appended in the dialog box. Click on S. Open the table. The records are appended to the table. If you append records to a table with an auto number field and you want to renumber the appended records, do not include the auto number field in the query. Access will generate new numbers for the new records. For example, append records from customers B to customers A where customer ID field is an auto number field. Open Query Designer and add the Customers B table. Add all the fields except Customer ID. Click on Append. Select Customers A. Click on OK. Run the query. Open the table and you can see that the values in customer ID field are auto-generated. Include the auto number field in the query if you want to retain the original values from the field. Open the query designer and add customers BB. Select asterisk to add all the fields. Click on Append, select Customers AA and click on OK. Access adds all the fields to Append to Row. Run the query. Open the table and you can see that Customer ID field values are copied from the Customers BB table. There are generally two reasons why records can get lost during an Append process. Type conversion failure occurs when the character type of the source data doesn't match the destination table column. The data types of the fields in the source table must be compatible with the data types of the fields in the destination table. Text fields are compatible with most other types of fields. Number fields are only compatible with the other number fields. For example, you can append numbers to a text field but you cannot append text into a number field. For example, products A has price field which is currency and in products B, price field is text as there are some entries that are tagged as TBD. Append records from products B to products A. Open query designer and add products B. Select asterisk to add all the fields. Click on append and select products A. Click on OK. Run the query. Access warns that the values with the data violation will not be appended. Click on S. Open products A. All the entries that have TBD are changed to null. If you append records from products AA to products BB, all the entries will be copied. 
add products AA, click on append and select products BB. Click on OK, run the query. Open products BB. All the entries that have TBD are also copied. Key violation occurs when you are trying to append duplicate records to a field in the destination table that is set as primary key or is indexed as no duplicates. The employee ID in employees A is set as no duplicates. Employees A and employees B has three records with the same employee ID. Append records from employees B to employees A. Those three records from employees B will not be appended. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.